Now we have a whole bunch of new people in the park. People visiting from other parks. Thank you. And people in the foothills. They need to know about these woes of growing old. You know you're old when you're asked to slow down by your doctor and not the police. <laughs> this getting old is something else. This is the first time I've ever been old and it just kind of creeps up on you and you don't get to practice. But there were signs. Random hair growth. That's special. Particularly when you go to brush a hair off your shoulder and you find out it's still attached to your chin. Large, non-life-threatening humps of skin, big enough to name after deceased relatives and pets, start showing up. Neck tissue develops a little thing of its own here. I was afraid to leave the house the whole week before Thanksgiving. You are quick. <laughs> when I was young, I had a rosebud tattooed to my breast. Now, it's a long stemmed rose <laughs> in a hanging basket. wave with the other end of your arm. <laughs> I never know if my legs are that wrinkled or I just don't have my stockings all the way up. <laughs> they say you should exercise. I tried that one time and it makes the wine jump right out of your glass. <laughs> I get my exercise now by throwing all the diet books out to the trash. <laughs> I saw an old friend the other day. She's so old she didn't even recognize me. <laughs> Not too quick. <laughs> I got to thinking about the old girl while I was combing my hair in the mirror and I thought, oh God. They don't even make mirrors like they used to. <laughs> you do strange things like driving your car down to a roadside mailbox, rolling down your window, and ordering a burger and fries. <laughs> it pains me to mention going in the wrong end of the car wash. She was screaming. I was just as afraid of her as she was of me. Everyone drives so fast nowadays. You're taking your life in your hands when you pull out the freeway in front of them. <laughs> Brakes are screeching, swerving going on. I can watch everything in my rear view mirror. <laughs> fallen down and wondered what else you could do while you're down there. <laughs> In my 40s, my friends and I would go to the Gustav von Loon for lunch because the waiters there were so sexy. In our 50s, we would go to the Gustav Zoom Lowen because the food was good and they had a, had a large selection of wines. In our 60s, my friends and I would go to the Zoomin place. Zoomin place, because it was peaceful, quiet, and smoke free. In our 70s, we'd go to the Gusty Lowen place because it was peaceful and quiet and smoke free. In our 70s, we'd go to the Foster place. 
because uh, it, it, you could go in your wheelchair and it had an elevator. In our 80s, we wanted to go to a really nice restaurant for lunch and somebody said, why don't you go to the Gustav Zoom Lola? So we did. It came highly recommended and we'd never been there before. <laughs> you never know just how much wealth you have accumulated in our lives. There's silver in our hair, gold in our teeth, crystal in our kidneys, lead in our butt, iron in our arteries, sugar in our blood, and a huge, huge supply of natural gas. That was pretty quick, too. Forget the health food, we need all the preservatives we can get. You know you're over the hill when you and your teeth no longer sleep together. <laughs> and that reminds me of my most recent marriage. We got married on Friday. My man was right there beside me. Our friends were all gone. We were alone. Side by side, we were happily wed when he got ready for bed. Then his teeth and his hair, he laid on a chair. Side by side, one glass eye so tiny and one hearing aid so small. Then he screwed one leg off and laid it on the chair in the hall. I stood there broken hearted. Most of my man had departed. I slept on the chair. There was more of them there. 